interestingly, people in the North, although they are younger, they are as frail as the rest of Singapore. And, and with the chronic diseases and, and complications of these chronic diseases. And as a result, we can think about managing all these conditions together, even though we are a bit younger, but the concept still, uh, still, still uh, remains true. And uh, when we think about how these uh, problems then uh, impact the way we design services, we therefore need to think about um, today's problem where there is a lot of care that uh, is at the tail end of uh, people's uh, disease conditions. They therefore present in the emergency department and then they, they present uh, with uh, disease conditions that are far more advanced and therefore we need to address these problems uh, more acutely in the hospital. And that's the role of the hospital, right? And, and that's what we must design to do. Um, but the, the natural question therefore is that uh, how do we provide enough services upstream uh, to prevent people from needing to even come to the hospital, right. right? So even as we are developing the concept of how we want to design care within the hospital, we are already starting to talk about how do we get people not to utilise the hospital? which is a bit of a strange uh, idea, right? I mean, you never start a business by thinking about how do I not utilise my business, right? Um, but but that, that is what is on the top of our minds uh, in all, uh, all across medicine, right? It's, 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 not, it's not just us, right? So we think about this and then we therefore think that, okay, there are services that need to start outside the hospital even though we are building a hospital. And one of the key things that we therefore need to do is to think about what is pre-hospital before a person comes to hospital. How do we design care in a way that reduces the requirements for uh, the, the people living in that region to even need to come to the hospital, right? Uh, because if you don't need to come to the hospital and we can give care in the community, and, and even address your needs in the community, then that is one, uh, one phase of care that uh, we, can, we can achieve. Then even if you do come to the hospital, do we need to admit you, right? Uh, which is then a second phase of care, which we, then, we can then think about the alternatives that we need uh, in order to say that, oh, actually, instead of admitting you, we have these other alternatives that we can then um, provide you better care without needing you to come into hospital. And if you do need to come into hospital, of course, the hospital is built for this purpose. But when we bring you into hospital, how can we learn from what other people have done so that we can streamline your care as much as possible and make that experience as least painful as possible. I can't guarantee that it's painless, okay. but how do we make it least painful as possible? Yeah. And then when you leave the hospital, how do we bring the care out into community further so that you do not have the problem recur and need to come back into hospital again? So the idea that, that, that was driving us is that how do we keep uh, people's interaction with the hospital as short and as meaningful as possible but then load services before and after in order that their journeys are mostly out in the community rather than within the hospital. So that is the key design concept of what we were trying to achieve.